keyboardist, vocalist, and founding member of the Moody Blues, Mike Pinder, has died at 82 years old. He passed away Wednesday at his Northern California home, surrounded by his devoted family. His family confirmed the news in a statement shared via Facebook by bandmate and the group's bassist John Lodge. His final days were filled with music, encircled by the love of his family. Michael lived his life with a childlike wonder, walking a deeply introspective path which fused the mind and the heart, the statement read. Described as a musician, father, cosmic philosopher, and friend, Mr. Kinder's family found importance in sharing his message and words of encouragement to his trusted friends and caring fans. He created his music and the message he shared with the world from this spiritually grounded place, as he always said, keep your head above the clouds, but keep your feet on the ground. His authentic essence lifted up everyone who came into contact with him. His lyrics, philosophy, and vision of humanity and our place in the cosmos will touch generations to come. Mr. Kinder was remembered by guitarist and bandmate Justin Hayward as a natural-born musician who could play any style of music with warmth and love. He was a huge part of my own musical journey. My sincere condolences to his loving and devoted family, said Mr. Hayward. Meanwhile, no cause of death has been announced. Moody Blues Mr. Kinder, who was born in 1941 in Birmingham, England, founded the Moody Blues alongside drummer Graham Edge, multi-instrumentalist and vocalist Ray Thomas, bassist Clint Warwick, and original singer and guitarist Denny Lane. The band formed in May 1964 when Mr. Hayward and Mr. Lodge joined the Moody Blues two years later after the departures of Messrs. Lane and Warwick. The group gained momentum in 1965, and were influential in the development of progressive rock. Mr. Kinder wrote and performed on the band's first nine albums, including its sophomore album, Days of Future Past. In the mid-1970s, the group went on hiatus, only to return for their 1978 reunion album, Optive. Mr. Kinder opted not to remain with the band due to a change in lifestyle, but did release a solo album during that time titled, The Promise. Mr. Kinder began working in the tech industry after relocating with his family to Northern California. He would only return to music on occasion and released a second solo album in 1994. Mr. Kinder was an early proponent of the Mellotron, a keyboard that uses pre-recorded tracks to add non-piano sounds and special effects. It helped the group create their distinctive orchestral sound. While speaking to Rolling Stone magazine in 2018, Mr. Kinder touched on how the identifiable early sound set them apart from other rock groups. With the Tron, I could develop melodies and countermelodies within the Moody Blues songs. When you become the orchestra, I think you become the arranger by default. I could create the backdrops and the landscape for the melodies that the guys were writing. Mr. Kinder was the last surviving original member of the English rock band. His death follows that of bandmate Mr. Lane, who passed last year. Mr. Lane's widow, Elizabeth, took to social media to express her sorrow and offer her condolences to the Pinder family. Very sad news, the last of the original lineup of the Moody Blues has passed away, he is now reunited with Denny, Ray, Graham, and Clint, what a joyous reunion that must be, she said. The Moody Blues were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2018, receiving the honor as progressive rock pioneers turned synthesizer-driven rockers. The Moody Blues have created over 50 years of exhilarating and significant music that has influenced countless musicians and rock fans around the world, said the organization on its website.